HBO's acclaimed series Succession has hinted all along that it will end with Roman betraying Kendall. The two brothers have lived under their mogul father's enormous shadow their entire lives, vying for his interest in naming a successor to his media empire Waystar. With Logan now out of the picture following his death in season 4 episode 3, Roman and Kendall finally have the opportunity to walk in Logan's shoes. The remainder of Succession's final season will determine whether Roman and Kendall are actually capable of running their father's business. Up until this point, they have hardly been involved in Waystar's success, acting mostly as flies on the wall and privileged guests of the conglomerate's operation. Logan had previously expressed interest in eventually handing Kendall the keys to his office, but confided in Roman more than his other children when it came to business decisions. While both characters have distinct personal and professional flaws, Roman has always been more obedient to Logan, whereas Kendall has proven himself unstable and unpredictable throughout Succession's first three seasons. With both brothers voted in as interim co-CEOs after Logan's sudden death in Succession, they will be forced to cooperate and depend on each other in a way that will challenge their true loyalties and interests. If Succession is anything like ancient history, a peaceful and cohesive resolution will not be the case for Kendall and Roman. Ancient myth predicts Kendall's downfall. Logan frequently called Roman or Romulus as a nickname, although that was not his actual name. In ancient history, Romulus was the founder of Rome and its first king. Romulus had a brother named Remus. As the myth goes, when Romulus and Remus set out to build Rome they were unable to agree on where to place it. Each brother wanted to build on separate hills. Both were unwilling to budge. Romulus started building Rome the way he had envisioned, putting a wall around his chosen hill. Remus became jealous and was determined to embarrass Romulus, jumping over his wall to demonstrate how ineffective it was. This enraged Romulus, who then killed Remus, building Rome his way and naming himself king. Roman knows Kendall's darkest secret. In succession, Roman could realize the impossibility of working with Kendall and destroy his reputation to rebuild Waystar the way he believes Logan would want him to. Although Roman loves his brother, Kendall is extremely difficult to manage and could make impulsive decisions that would ultimately hurt Waystar and tarnish the Roy legacy. As soon as he got a taste of the top job, Kendall instantly went back to his volatile, untrustworthy ways, as demonstrated in the final scene with Hugo at the end of Succession Season 4 Episode 4. Roman knows Kendall's darkest secret about the no real person involved incident from Season 1, which could be Kendall's Achilles heel in Succession if he decides to disrespect Roman's new authority. Remus jumping over Romulus's wall in the ancient myth could foreshadow a situation where Kendall tries to thwart or invalidate Roman's executive decisions as co-CEO. Now that Roman is finally in a position of real power, there's nothing stopping him from betraying his brother if Kendall continues to be selfish and egotistical in destructive ways. He could kill Kendall in a way Logan couldn't bring himself to do, which might explain the partially crossed-out pencil mark on Logan's letter. Logan had expressed to Kendall that he didn't think he was a killer, despite his initials KLR. If Kendall pushes Roman far enough, he might realize which of Logan's sons is the true killer by the end of succession. But what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment. I will see you soon.